Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <clears throat> oh, I bet you that was cathartic. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Why is the Destiny Ascension just cruising around in the middle of the Citadel like that? Alright, you think, um... No, it's really only the one system in Hawking Ada, that's so weird. But alright. Okay, check these other planets, just in case there's anything going on here. There is not. Nope. Alright. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but... Part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you. In case we fail. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. Apparently it involves just grabbing me and smooching me. Lovely. I thought you said it was more spiritual than just sex. So, um, because of the Shepherd. aspect ratio change there, I have discovered that Asari do not have nipples. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say... Thank you. For everything. All right, let's hope this stealth system is really, really good. Ah, uh, Commander? We've got company. Have mm. their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, Negative on the that, XO the Presley is Lieutenant Barclay from the next generation. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Once again, like... Joker? I Ashley's voice it. actress needed to keep saying Gear her and line and then the actually Mako. cut Joker's Joker. dialogue right a little bit closer so that he was actually, you know, properly cutting her off. Okay, I want Rex and Liara for this. My my lover and the guy I'm really hoping puts a bullet in Saren's head. So accept this squad. If Liara puts a bullet in Saren's head, you know, I'm okay with that too. Moving in 
inside now! We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is mm. no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Mm. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. You know, I don't think that this track is on the soundtrack either. I don't, I'm pretty sure this is not the track they give you for Ilos. Alright, a couple things to do here. Liara, I believe we have Caden's old armor. Okay, we got some Phoenix armor. Let's see. Guardian. The hell? Did Caden take his armor with him when he died, or did I accidentally sell it? It's possible I accidentally sold it. Well, oops. Alright, we know Erdnot's all set, armor wise. <laughs> Phoenix, yeah, okay. Alright, upgrades. Uh, do, 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 do. I will take damping, increase the radius. I should have focused on that, but didn't. I'm bad. Uh, 56 out of 60. So how, how far am I going to go on this? I'm going to get up to here, and then I get one more point? How does that work? What did I do? Did I accidentally put a point in the Intimidate or something? I don't know. That's annoying. So I could either have advanced damping or advanced hacking. Interesting. Damping is not very useful, in my opinion. Although, yeah, the hacking reduces the recharge time of your abilities. You probably actually want that. Ah, well, whatever. Alright, Liara, uh, extra point in first aid for being a better medic. And, uh, Rex, uh, extra point in barrier. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright. Hello. Yeah, melt. Behold the power of the murder rifle. Nope. Kind of low. Oh, there you are. Huh, you survived that. How interesting. Oh my god. I'm getting annoyed now. Hello. I have forgotten that there were two of you back there. How do we want to deal with this? Uh, well, I want to drop a sabotage on you. I want to drop an over, drop an overload on you. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, so I can knock you down with my. Oh well, no, I can't. But I can blow you up. All right, inventory. I got a medical exoskeleton. Hold up. What do I have on here? I got energized plating for damage protection. Health regeneration, reduction in power cooldown. I'm taking that actually. And this is an old shield in her face. I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Hello. There's another death back here. Now there's now. Ow! Frig! Liara, no! Get back on your feet, soldier. Metagel deployed. Wow. This is. That hurt. Alright, so let me blinking shots over here. Because... It's a Geth Trooper behind the wall. That's smart. What do we get? We got Energized Plating. Boring. Yeah, this is, this is definitely not the Isla's track that is on the soundtrack. All right, vague recollection of where I need to go here. Uh, hello. Hostile contact. Frick's sake. Gotcha. Something in the inventory. Snowblind rounds. Eh, I don't care. Oh, 
Armature control? Wait a minute. What? Okay. Hello. Ah, oh, frick, the crawlers. Nope. Alright. Got him. Come on, show your face. Oh, you're there. Okay, you are just wasting shots on the uh, wall. Improved AI, huh? Nope. Oh, okay. I guess he died. Uh, go up here? Go up here. Alright, guest trooper. Now... Okay, Solkov and Kalabilov. Actually no use for either of those right now. There's nothing back here. Gonna be honest, I don't really remember where I'm going. Also, the mouse is getting sticky again. Bad capitalists hope that quote is never taken out of context. Yeah, come on. Alright, there must have been something that I missed then. Harden crate. Okay. Elevator. Uh, that's lit up like it's a destination. Crate. More Garbo. Alright, here's an area we ain't been. Uh, this is a dead end. Interesting. Mass Effect is basically a rail shooter. What do you mean there's a dead end? Nothing back there. Okay. Okay, hello. I'm kind of surprised the game gave me that hit, but I'm also not complaining. I killed you. I guess there were more of them. Alright. Okay. There, I got to... Hello? There we go. You guys are still fighting something. Let's see if fun with that. You're fighting a wall. Good job, Rex. Why did I even bother giving you the good guns? You can't aim with them. Right, can I get up there? I don't think so. Maybe. What's this? Hold up. Uh, no. Alright. Maybe this is an elevator. This is probably an elevator. Yeah. It says elevator. Well, elevator and elevator are two different things. Shut up. Medium armor human assassin. It's, it's not going to be good. No, it's terrible. Look at this. Ah, oh, it's just bad. Guardian Colossus Phoenix. Get his back. Embarrassing. Right, we are jammed by something. What am I doing up here? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, I thought this was the way to go. All right. Ah uh, ha 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 ha. I am now confused. That's not good. All right, we're gonna go back in the elevator, I guess. There's no nowhere else to go up here. Ruh-row. Ruh-row. Longer than I would care to admit later. Oh, 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 it's this. I have to go over here. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Nope. Damn it, hold still. Okay. Yeah, great. That's not a laser sniper. Okay, hold up, hold still. You... You're on my side now. Maybe. Yeah, you're happy. Okay, great. Stop shooting. I have a feeling that the guy I hacked is still... No, that one's hacked. Shut me down here. We good? Alright. Slightly sloppy. How to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Mm. Alright. Can my sniper rifle back, please? actually do anything once I've disabled the shields no okay armature repair station what's this do oh it brings an armature in to fight the death for me well that's neat all right Right over here. Heavy armor human guardian ten. And there's this. What does the map for this area even look like? Oh, not terribly helpful, honestly. Okay. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Mm -hmm. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on, something's happening. Too late. Unable to. Invading fleets. No escape. Mm. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Liara, of I know course. Prothean and you don't. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Jealous. Not safe. Seek refuge. 
inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? No. Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. Uh huh. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Aw. All right, that was that. Now there's suddenly a marker on the map telling me where I need to go, which I appreciate. I remember the first time I played this, it was very confusing. Because, uh, like, the game had stopped giving me helpful information. The lockdown is still... Rex, do you want to have a line here or no? Alright, well, we're going to take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker now. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the Conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of container? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This Hello. Now that's how you cut off somebody mid-line. Alright. I got lazy. I was doing cinematic shots. I thought we were safe. Who's... Hello? Who's here? Oh, hi. You're adorable shooting rockets at my little tank. Someone lived through that, huh? No, they didn't. Alright, well, that's my lesson to not stop and admire the scenery that Bioware have built here. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. Oh, Rex, we love you. All right! Last minute info dump. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization, and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, 
the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer <laughs> of surrender was works. ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? Shepard, you're not going to be the happy Reapers with the answer to that question. No one is going to be happy with the answer to that question. Or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. All right, well, how do I you do said that? You brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a back door onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. 
There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. Mm. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols, and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Hmm, a chance, you Wait. say? Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the well, conduit. You wouldn't have Rex, you're Saren. a bounty hunter. He will lead you to your destination. All right. Uh, I missed the thing about the Keepers. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Indeed. All right, I'm Saren's good here. Sovereign's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. Liara? I'm sorry, Liara. We have to stop Indiana, Saren. let Nothing it go. <laughs> you are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. I was hoping for something more inspiring, Rex, but okay.
All right, time for the maneuver I like to call the trench run. I completely missed that guy. Oh my god. Oh my god! There, hang on. There we go. Got him. Suddenly very Blade Runner-esque soundtrack. Plus, the, we, we've been hearing it before on Alice, but... I think this is where it really started, like kick in in my mind. When we got to us, I'm like, oh yeah, the Blade Runner soundtrack. Hello. Oh, ow, Frank, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You missed. You missed at point blank range because you are bad. Ow. Get off the wall! Please get off the wall before he shoots me again. Ow. Same deal as Vermeer. I just can't be bothered to, to stop and fight every single one of these things. I kind of see why tank combat was rejected in the later games. Yeah. I kind of wish I could assign one of my squad mates as the gunner, so I could focus on driving. You know, like, in Saints Row. Ow. These shields are coming back online in a timely manner. I can't believe that counted as a hit. Uh, there's something interesting back there. What are we looking at here? Are we at the final death dive? Yeah, we are. Alright. There. The conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. Well, why did we, we stop? We have that relay. And these geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Indeed. Oh, hi. System's not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Alright. Go for it. Oh, hey, they brought back that music that I really like. Sort of. All right, now my shields just go away as soon as I hit the bottom of the trench. So these guys can just attack, but they're all gonna miss with their super blasts because they don't aim them properly. I'm barely dodging. And the shields take us all the way up. Uh, he has glitched. This is unfair, this is... I, I think I can beat this without him glitching, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move and hopefully let him get off that. And then we can have a nice fair fight with the genocidal madman. Oh, I set myself on fire. Um out of curiosity, where's my most recent autosave? Great, let's uh let's let's just reload that. Pretend pretend that didn't happen.